to that point, we heard from a new whistleblower this morning named Sam Mohawk. He says that in June of last year, when the FAA notified Boeing that it would inspect its plant in Renton, the company told employees to move most of the 60 non-conforming parts that they were having an issue with to another location, allegedly to hide it from inspectors. Now, many of them were moved back, but apparently some, according to Mohawk, were lost. David, how serious is that in terms of safety for passengers? Well, it, it's a it's a plus and a minus, though. We have to look at it this way. Uh, we had a lot of air, aircraft that came from China at one point when I was a safety investigator, and uh, the parts that came in were separated from the aircraft. When those parts are segregated, they have to, by regulation, they have to be in a separate fenced container that's clearly marked that they're not airworthy parts and that they're under investigation. And each one of those parts has to be looked at, examined, and signed off by a person like me, by, by the airworthiness inspector, to say that they are ready and airworthy to be put on. And I think that what happened here is that those 60 parts that he's talking about were not segregated. They were not put in a place. So what happens is before someone comes in, and this is the beauty of the FAA back in the years, is we would make unannounced visits. We would just come in and start looking at stuff. And it was much more effective than today when they're all uh, scheduling this and scheduling that and showing up. They knew that they were coming. So because they knew they were coming, I suspect what happened is these parts were then put into where they're supposed to be, which is a segregated area. The missing parts, I don't have an answer for that, and it's totally unacceptable. Every part has traceability. Uh, I, and I've been after this for years about the fact that they need to start using blockchain to, to track every part. You need to make sure that every part that's ever manufactured on these airplanes is not a duplicate part. It's not a bogus part is what they sometimes refer to it, but technically and regulatory-wise, it's referred to as a suspected unapproved part. And that's what the most concern is for me right now, is who's duplicating this stuff. Yeah.